Ooh, not the best opening hand. Not at all. Oh baby, what do we do? Uh, kick that. I'm not overly optimistic about this opening hand. Yeah, this is the ripping piece Neckers. So Neckers are incredibly powerful, but if the opponent has a spear, oh my god, it's so painful. <laughs> If you boost them with Unicorn. Look at this. This is this should be just illegal. So I played my long grand value generators. And his his value generators is just completely deleted. At this point I just have spears for free. So good. That's a lot of points, though. Okay. If I play the Archispore, like, come on, we aren't... Yeah, we might want to play the Archispore here. Let's go with that. It's okay, we can go down in cards. We can just pass next turn. Love me some Nord Realm, but NR is kinda shit. I tried to make Nord Realm work a little bit. Like, one day, I was like, I felt inspired. I just came, I don't know, it was like 11 p.m. or like maybe midnight, and I'm like, oh crap, I got the idea for a Nord Realm deck. After three losses, I was out. No freaking way. I don't know, no realm. I tried. I tried to make you work, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, Manticore. I don't know what to go with. Kinda need to put some value on the board. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can play this. This is just a uh, four here. Also, we can blow it up. At that point, we're getting uh, a 9, plus 4, 13, we're at 19, but that's not good enough. But actually, that's gross. So, uh, as long as this hits... Yes. As long as this hits... Not these two, which we can somewhat play around, we should be good. Right. Oh my god. It, it needs to be a one out of three. No, no. Oh, we good. It was a uh, two out of three. This allows us to push him, round 2, pretty important, because he's an uh, Aradin, so he always has the same cheese. Like, he basically has two strategies, one is complete garbage, so we're just gonna assume that he doesn't have that, the, the Grave Hag strategy, which is garbage, so it's not gonna happen. But the other strategy, playing some immune, uh, dude. Like Yennefer Conjurer or or Sabat, uh, I don't think so. Two Harpy eggs, pretty good. 
But yeah, Manticore. That's what we want. We didn't play Roach yet. Which is pretty good. I think I'm just gonna go with Harpy Egg here. Alright, we're gonna push him. <laughs> it's hard. Nice haircut. You like my haircut? You're you're the first one to notice. I thought you didn't like artifact spam. I don't. I suppose I like it a little bit more if I'm doing it. <laughs> But yeah, this deck is from Reddit, and I always wanted to, well, I lately wanted to try this uh, Unseen Elder deck, and this is a good one. I look like a Reaver Hunter with this haircut. Is that a plus? Ooh, I'll just go with the Frightener Dormant. Oh crap, he probably does have... Some artifact removal because he's Vault Hunt. You can blow that up. Mm. Extra reason to blow it up is that I have a Manticore, and if that's the lowest unit, uh, then the Manticore is not as valuable. How many units I'm gonna consume here? Okay, I'm gonna play the Frightener Dormant. Could be a bad idea. I watched your YouTube video. Nadrak versus Nadrak. Shoop versus Shoop. Omega Lul. You like that? Uh, I think. Well, in the past, I, I really uh, spent a long time trying to come up with titles. And I'm a little bit conflicted on titles, because I feel like I don't want them to be spoilers in the title, but also it needs to be, like, like it, well, a video needs to have a title. So ultimately I got, like, this uh, 10 to 15 seconds rule that I just, like, well, after I, like, watching the video, at least part of it, I just tried to come up with a video and uh, just a video title and just go with it, no matter what. Where's AJ? He, he left me. <laughs> and I'm streaming Gwen. What is this, 2018? Could be. So... Like, this is pretty powerful. I could have also... Oh, it's only enemy. Never mind that. Nice. Super strategies. Uh, not gonna happen. I only have one consume. That's not good. Oh no, two consumes. Never mind that. Oh yeah, we can make this happen. So I gotta play Vivas. No, it's only ally! God damn it. I wanted to buff uh, Goliath. So we can hit him with Geralt Professional. That's not gonna happen. I hope he left, not because of the haircut. No way Hoxit can leave us. 
He left us. I wonder where he is. Oh my god, that guy messed up. I don't even know what to go with here. Like, yeah. No, no, no. There's a chance that we hit that for two by accident. Let's get this over. <laughs> One necker. That was not the best boost he ever did. And most likely he's holding on to his wing condition here. Which is gonna be pretty awkward. Streaming too? Uh, apparently. Is this slice up there then? I don't know. I don't know what his uh, wing condition is. But I got some points now. So good luck. Foxy left me for a girl, but all is forgiven. What? I hope so. Anyway, GG. Alright, let's see. Sure. Uh, that could be actually useful in this matchup. Two ancient foglets. So we can start with the Knackers. Killer Champions. The go-to big monster Dagon here. Some of you keep telling me that I should stop calling Dagon Dagon, but I don't understand what you guys are talking about. By the way, what if the artifacts, instead of this whole immunity, or just only can can be destroyed by specific artifact hunters, instead of this, they had armor, or something like that. Just to allow for more interaction. I'll be into that. Oh my god. Sure. Spears are so damn powerful against drive monsters. Anyway, let's go with that. I really wanna want Vilgefortz in it, but I have trouble fitting him with provisions. Whoa! Bomb Heaver? He had that all along and now he played it after I killed every relevant card? Why? Problem with playing the Ancient Foglets now is that uh, we don't have a way to trigger them. If we get a Bruce or a Karen, uh, that would help. But we would need to play also Vispus before. And. Well, I don't know. A word once given will never break. I don't know. If I play the two ancient foglets and we... Can I get so unlucky? Yes. There is a chance... There is a chance that we get Imperial Manticore and Frightener Dormant. And that's gonna be tragic. 
But that's never gonna happen, right? There's no way. This is what makes sense, so we're just gonna play both of them. Ancient Foglet into Ancient Foglet. And after that... We can just... I'm too old for this shit. Yeah. We can just uh, play the ship. And no problem. Maybe we're gonna weave us as well. No, that's good. It's a good time to play the cat. I don't know about that. So we can play this for 9. Oh, this is lucky. So we can play this for 9 and we have to thrive. So this is technically a 11, which is awesome. Oh man, if I had like a spear, you could just ping that. Thanks. Not go far. Oh yeah, we can also use Dancing Elder. I, I definitely should have, uh, I should not forget about that. Okay, hide cards. Show cards. Kaira in the front. Gets played. Unseen Elder triggers Ancient Foglet. Never mind that. Mistakes were made. And we did it for science. And we pass. I was curious about that because I never do it. Uh, now I'm kind of reminded why not. I was kind of hoping for a 4 boost. But no. Only when it goes to the graveyard. So he can have a Goliath. Goliath takes it. Not much else does. Sure, use your hero power. But anything takes it. Yeah, Goliath. Well, Goliath is the only realistic card that he has that takes it. Manticore could be just insane last round. As much as I like my hand, it's kinda good to have a Rotfiend here. So we have a throwaway. Oh my god, this is so bad. It might not be... This not might be a good card for late. This is the worst. Because we can't throw away the spear. Oh my god. So we have the consume free. What do we throw away, guys? Guess it's crone then? We can't throw away the crone. We need that. The only one we don't. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm considering throwing away Get Out Professional here. We can't use. Th this is so bad. Well, we can't possibly justify throwing away the crone. 
If we get a Cyclops... No, 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 no. That's not good. No, we gotta keep this. I think. Maybe Imperial Manticore. Imperial Manticore can be thrown away. Why did I mulligan Rot Fiend? Maybe I was hoping to get out the riders this time. I think it's a bit optimistic to get a lot of value from the Imperial Manticore. It's gotta be a 6 round, round 3. So 2 Deathfish. We have this for 8. And that's just gotta be good enough. So we can start with the rider. That's gotta be probably Arcaspor. If he just. Yeah, yeah. I think his Manticore kills the lowest. So it's not that good if he just plays a lot of trash. I could actually execute that if he played the Unseen Elder here. Fourteen is pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to set up anything for Gera Professional. It doesn't have a lot in the graveyard. So this is going to be a 7. If he if he kept the Manticore, uh, it seems like at this point keeping Gerald was possibly the wrong idea. We could have get we could have killed the Necker Warrior with the Manticore. So that's something. But keep in mind we also got a harpy. Uh, with the hero power. This is still just a 7. What? He's a 12 now! Oh my god. He also played a 9. Okay, never mind that. We did the best... best move. Keeping the Manticore would have not helped us too much. Pass. Pass! I I'm just lightly tapping the space, but I apparently I need to pass it for an hour. Easy. Well, even if that didn't happen... We would have killed Old Spear Tip, which would have been not enough. Not enough, because we ended up winning by two points. So we just smashed him. Easy big time. This guy had no chance. GG.